I did my ticked off twisted pregnancy edition. This is my ticked off twisted first time mom edition. I had my son a little over three months ago and as many of you know when you're a first time parent it's a bit challenging. I mean you're doing this all for the first time. Well advice is okay and good and fine and all but you should never make the person that you're giving advice to feel like you're just being rude and condescending in some way joining me now is my cute little co-host say i'm adorable and cuddly so here are some things that i have been asked as a first time mom or advised as a first time mom. My favorite one that I absolutely love is, so why'd you breastfeed? Formula and breast, and breast milk are basically the same thing. I'm just going to uh, skip the ranting part of that and go straight to, no it's not. Breastfeeding has a lot of benefits that are very great for your child. If you choose to formula feed, or if you just can't breastfeed and you have to do formula, whatever, that's, that is your choice and you are right as a parent. Don't question why I breastfeed and I won't question why you formula feed. Mm, huh. Number two, the other thing that really annoys me is I use cloth diapers, as many of you probably know. And a lot of people go, you use cloth diapers? Isn't that kind of unsanitary? Mm. Well, to them, we say, I'd love to see your disposable underwear collection because, you know, if you happen to have an accident in your panties, are you going to throw them away? If your, you know, five-year-old pees her pants, are you going to, you going to throw away her panties? No, you're going to wash them and reuse them because it's just urine. I'm sorry, but it is. And as far as the poopy goes, well, that's a little bit different of a situation. But no, it is not unsanitary. In fact, somehow I believe that it's much more sanitary. Because the fact that he doesn't get diaper rashes tells me that something I'm doing something right number three he is now three months old and for a lot of people they keep suggesting that I put cereal in his bottle to make him sleep longer at night one there is no scientific proof that that does in fact help him sleep longer two there's a whole thing about stomach rot or gut rot right now oh. I haven't really looked into it, but honestly, to me, it just seems like a giant choking hazard, which I'm sure it is, and it doesn't feel right to me, and if something doesn't feel right, and if you're not comfortable with it, then should you really push yourself to be comfortable with it and do it anyway? I don't believe so. So it's, it's something that really annoys me, because it's like... I'm not really, I'm not feeling it. And I think we are going to go with baby led weaning. Where basically he just, whenever he's ready, he'll just start taking stuff off my plate. And then what, that'll let me know that he's ready to start eating. And then I'll give him an assortment of stuff on a plate specifically for him. And he can eat what he wants. And if he doesn't, then no well. Because it's not like it's. 100% necessary right now. Yeah. So why would I do something that's not necessary? Plus, we like nursing. It's our snuggle times. Number, what is this, four? Is, oh, he doesn't sleep through the night. Insert crazy idea here 
on how to make him sleep through the night. He's three months old. He was three weeks early. He's three months old. It is perfectly normal for him to not sleep through the night. And here the last couple days, he's kind of had a bit of a cold, so he wants his mommy. Mm. Yeah. See, I want my mommy. I got her hair right now. I did have. Yes. Yes. Mm. And number five. This one I know is probably going to start a whole lot of controversy. Please don't. No arguing. <laughs> but the age old question of you just, you let your baby cry, right? No. No, I don't. I don't believe in cry it out. To me, it seems, it's, it seems a little mean that my child's over there crying and he doesn't really cry for no reason. If he cries, then he's wet or he's hungry or he's got gas and he needs to burp. So if I ignored his cries, I would be ignoring a need because those are all things that he needs. He doesn't cry just to cry. So to me, the cry it out method would be pointless as well as mean and I can't do it. My mother wasn't the best mom or even a mom remotely and for me to just ignore him when he cries just seems neglectful, neglectful on my end since he cries for those reasons. If that's something that you as a parent have decided that you want to do, fine, that's your choice. To me, it's not something that I'm okay with. And that's okay to have different parenting styles. It's not okay to down a parent for those parenting styles unless it's actually something that's going to hurt the baby or child involved. So, yes, those are my, oh, yeah, those are my top five most annoying questions statements that I get as a first time mom. Yeah. So if you like this episode, then like it below, subscribe if you're new around here, comment, let me know what your most, and you know, the thing that really ticks you off that people say about you as a first time mom. And we'll see you next time.